Would you climb up the stairs? Or would you leave it where it was? All right, welcome. Remember, we are going through Bake Shop principles. So we have a short flower intro slash review. All right, you should be able to have this, or you should have gotten in the WebEx, or you should have been able to click the QR. Do you have it the way you want it? I know some of you like paper. All right. Let's discuss review types of flowers. So we flower, everything we use is either going to be a form of wheat flour or a version of milled, processed, enriched, so on and so forth. Okay? So we will live here. Our focus today is going to be protein content, aka gluten structure. So some people will refer to this in the colony world as graham flour. We will not. I will never remember that. I'm just going to say graham crackers instead. And then, as you're writing down in your note sheet, description slash characteristics, let's more talk about the flavors and the texture. Okay. So nutty slash wheat flavor. And then if you've ever had a whole wheat muffin or you eat raisin bran, it's a dense cereal, not volume. Kind of like a hockey puck, not a nice fluffy torch, right? Raisin bran. May not be your go to cereal. I, for one, love it. Would you crack up the stairs? Or would you leave it where it was? All right, welcome. Remember, we are going through bake shop principles. So, we have a short flower intro slash review. All right, you should be able to have this, or you should have gotten in the WebEx, or you should have been able to click the QR. Do you have it the way you want it? I know some of you like paper. All right, let's discuss review types of flowers. So, we flower, everything we use is either gonna be a form of wheat flour or a version of milled, processed, enriched, so on and so forth. Okay? So we will live here. Our focus today is gonna to be protein content, AKA gluten structure. So, some people will refer to this in the colony world as graham flour. We will not, I will never remember that. I'm just gonna say graham crackers instead. And then, as you're writing down in your note sheet, description slash characteristics, let's more talk about the flavors and the texture. Okay. So nutty slash wheat flavor. And then if you've ever had a whole wheat muffin or you eat raisin bran, it's a dense cereal, not volume. Kind of like a hockey puck, not a nice fluffy torch, right? Raisin bran. May not be your go to cereal. I, for one, love it. Okay. Protein affects the content, or excuse me, protein affects the flower's ability, right? Okay. So this should be the next question down. More protein, more gluten. As I was talking through that whole time, AKA the gluten content, how much I make. Remember, gluten is formed from the proteins in our flour, and you'll experiment with that shortly. Gluten also helps maintain shape and holds food together. It's kind of like our glue. If I'm going to glue something to a piece of paper, how much glue do I need? Do I want it to stay there for life, or do I want it to just stay there for the day? a short video for you guys. You and your pals are going to try to figure out this flower. Okay. So chart number one. Ooh, that's okay, Chad, you have to <laughs> 
start number one will be what you need to figure out. So sample A, B, C through G, right? You're going to identify the flower based on its texture. So you and your pals need to be okay touching the same flowers. If not, gloves. Okay. So texture number one, you're going to take a little bit, pinch it through your fingers, try to feel that texture. Okay. Like we work through number one, it'll be grittiness, right? I can texture. I also feel it's pretty smooth though. Okay. Write down the color of sample A and then take your guess at the flower. I'll give you six minutes to work through all seven. You are welcome to taste it if you want. If you really want to get technical on it, you may know. <laughs> I think this one's going to be like box. Okay, I'm going to get this one. Oh, shit. I don't like that. This is the color. It's like brown. I'm going to like dump it out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm writing in the wrong box. I literally can't sit. Guess it's a flower. I don't know. I don't know any flowers. Yeah, right. <laughs> All I know is flowers. Like, that's yeah. a good one. So work your way through one through seven. If you get stumped, keep working. Put this one through the first one. Good reference here. Good reference. Oh, yeah. Whoa, actually. Wait, are we putting water in it for subsetting muffins? Or are we putting the lighter ones? Gluten free English muffins are way dry. So one of these has to be gluten Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. One of these are gluten free. I have no idea. What if they're both gluten free? No, they're different textures. That one feels. They're both crumbly. What about oh, this one? This one looks flour too. Yeah. Actually, or don't mix them up. We don't make sure we don't mix them up. We don't yeah, like no. take both of them. I think that's also the flour. Yeah, I think yeah, that this one is. Way. I think the last one's also. This one is yeah, I don't think it's good. Yeah. This one can't even have flour. I don't like flour. Yeah. I know for sure one of those has to be more than the flowers, and then we can yeah. just like actually like. Is that what what that was? Try not to mix up your flowers though, because everyone has the same order. What we were doing here? Mm -hmm. Or no? I, no. No. This might be bread flour. D. I don't know. Bread flour is like a little bit more white. Is there any cake? Do you want? Do you want to do that one? Would be bread flour. Mm -hmm. And then this one would be over that. Yeah, that one is up in the And, yeah, I'm going to bake the cake in the warm time. You got to keep working through it. We also have that. So, touch, analyze it. Is it gluten free? Gluten free? Sorry. No, that's okay. And do we want to assume that that one's cake flour? I feel like this one would be pizza. Yeah, I think that one would be. I mean, that's a white ish. I don't know. I don't know. This is This would be cake flour because if it's more thin, we want cakes to be more soft. And we want bread to. Oh, you're right. I'm just gonna assume. Okay. Okay, what's in the I think you're right about the first one being overflower. I just thought it was fuzzy because the sandy one. Yeah. <laughs> wait, this one is weird too. Wait, 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 Okay. I don't even know. Yeah, I think we think this one's on the one. Yeah, that one does look it's soft. It's gritty, but like, like, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> Did it squint your name today? Pastry flowers? Pastry flowers, there you go. It kind of feels like oh, yeah, we all sand. I told you! This one's just so wet. Which one's this one? Oh, I'm, I 
are you just confused about that? Because I don't know what that is. Like if you oh, have, do you ever have kin uh, kinetic sand? Uh, yeah. That's what that feels like. What would we have you? What would be having you be able to like, do a compact? Wait, did it show like a quick picture of like the different types of Yeah, I think I think this is pastry. Yeah, for sure. Take almonds or what is the last one we need? Isn't there like a have all purpose on right. We think that's that one, right? Oh god. Okay. Anybody have a hard time oh, to Sorry. examine? I'll texturize or wait, we didn't have wheat. I know we didn't have wheat. Wait, we don't write that down for Couple more people have some blank charts. I'll give you a minute or two more. Okay, uh, what types of gluten-free flour are there? Just the one, or? Uh, there is only one version in this. Yeah, really? Would you like to know? I mean, yeah, uh, just or kidding. There's two. All right. Okay, so that one is yeah. for uh, F. Yeah. But there's different. Yeah. It's not just gluten-free. It's an actual different type of flour. Uh, um, uh, gluten. It's like gluten. That's a great word. Yeah. I know that that's not but she does say it's gluten free, so it might be like nine grains. Gluten free and something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy flowers. Okay, what's that one? That it is oh, so right here, pixelated. Right oh my god. It's on. It's on. Oh my god! Yeah, we're guessing. Okay. 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 So I was guessing. Um, I need to replace my bread flour because that this one. I thought that was just like. Uh, which one is up again? Like, yeah, All right, thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Wait, there's one on the floor. I don't know. Oh, I literally need to texture. It's like really blurry, though. I can't make anything out. No, I think texture wise. It's just basically brighter. Yeah, bread flower looks more yellowish. That's why I'm like. Yeah, no, I think I'm really tired. Alright, let's reconvene here in two, one. Zero. So, I'll let you contemplate and leave you hanging because I'm not telling you the flowers yet. We are now going to look at their gluten consistencies. So you are going to take the measuring spoon and water that it gave you, and you can only do two tablespoons of water. So it's really an eighth cup of flour and an eighth cup of water. You are going to put your two tablespoons in, and you will mix and check out the properties. So flip over. To the next page and mix. So mix in sample A. Wait, that's the and it just says describe what the mixture looks like when water is added. Does it form a dough? Yes or no? Two teaspoons? Wait, how much water do we need to add again? Two One. tablespoons. Okay, thank you. Two tablespoons. Do you just want to add them to all of them? Or yeah. Just start yeah, let's add them to yeah. all of them, and then we can... Just make sure not to be this. I'll be in the Should we use 
different spoons? You can mix all of Thank you. 